From coast to coast, country to country. Oh yeah, it is Island Worship with Evangelist Wayne Smith here on ATR Priest House. This and every Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. As we play with the greatest and hardest Christian songs around the globe. UTL Praise House, Lincoln the World. Dear God, morning glory as acknowledge that you are timeless. And so, Lord, we are asking you to bless morning glory, bless the listeners, bless the presenters, bless evangelists, we and submit, Lord, because we know. Your ending wrapped up in your beginning You were here before time began And you'll be here long after time go on Is you who made time for us to live in You step in and out of time as you please Only you deserve our praises Man in glory say you're timeless Jesus have no beginning and no ending Timeless, Daddy God, that's what you are. You are timeless. Yes, you are listening to Evangelist Wayne Smith and Morning Glory. This is the Hallelujah Boy. Wanna say blessed good morning to each and everyone keeping a lock to triple the bit at ATL Praisehouse.com. This is the Morning Glory program. It is a beautiful Friday, cold Friday, cold. Lord Jesus, it's cool. I uh, feel like up north. I thought I moved from up north, like you know, since two thousand and two. But it's you know, it's a lonely one. Leave me alone. This cool weather won't leave me alone. Need to keep, keep, stay up north. <laughs> I'm gonna say blessed good morning to you, each and everyone. If you are up north, pray that you are trying to stay warm and 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 nice and comfy. Amen. Pray that the Radiator and the heater working, you know, look at iron heater we make a lot of noise, you know, when it's coming on. Uh, and never gonna forget the last time I was in New Jersey. And uh, I went to bed and at my sister's house and that thing was trying to come on. I was like, that thing sound like a rolling calf. It sound like something going on out there. But nonetheless it's cold. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. So those island people we envy you right now. We here in the States, we envy you. Amen. Especially those who are up north. They envy you right now if you are living in the islands. Amen. But nonetheless, we give God thanks for um, each and every day, whether it's hot, cold, you know, uh, windy, stormy, rainy, you know, coolie, uh, whatever the time and the temperature is, we give God thanks for it. Amen. Because it's uh, it's his doing. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Amen. So even the temperature, the atmosphere, everything is conducive to whatever God chooses to do. Amen. So we just give God thanks that we are alive and well. Amen. Kimola Brown, uh, give me a little jingle now this morning. It says there is none there like you. There is none like you. Somebody say no one else. No one else can touch my heart like you do. 
somebody say I could search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There is no like. There is no like you. All right, all right, Kimola Brown. I want to say, dear sister of mine, good morning to you, my dear sister and friend, the voice of the one and only, my God, Minister Yvonne Johnson, awesome God. You are an awesome God, can be taught with the feeling. Awesome God today You are an awesome God Can be taught Is that the birthday girl? Is that the birthday lady, C. Brad? Want to say happy birthday to you? No, your birthday just went by. Well, I went again yesterday. Want to say happy birthday to you? Want to say blessed good afternoon to the UK? My sister. Prophetess Nadia. I want to say blessed good morning to you, Glory Carrier. Yes, you are. You are an awesome God. Awesome God. Today. Awesome God. Somebody say. It's a couple of days ago. Uh, 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 it was a few days ago, but happy birthday. I know I sent you a happy birthday on your birthday. I know I wasn't late, so I give thanks. I want to say bless and good morning to you, my dear sister, friend, Seabrack. Hey, C. Brock, I'm giving you ample notice. I'm giving you notice way, 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 way ahead of time. Hey, listen, you need to start saving up, okay? I want you to be in Canada with me in November. Empowered to Win Conference in Canada, Toronto, Ontario. Hey, you ever been to Canada, C. Brock? Well, guess what? need to make preparation
Can we tell the Lord one more time oh God. how awesome he is? As I welcome and say good morning to Mini Me, Sister Erica, GGA. Say blessed good morning to Detroit. Wanna say good morning, Detroit. Detroit is in the house. Can we tell the Lord how awesome he is this morning? Hi, my big sister Pamela. My big sister Pamela 
Auntie D and Sister Pamela. Awesome. They family, y'all. Can we tell the Lord how awesome he is? I want to play this song one more time, one more time. He woke us up this morning. He's an awesome God. He watched over us while we sleep last night. He was an awesome God. We woke up in our right mind. He's an awesome God. With the feeling my infirmity, you are an awesome God. Awesome God today. You are an awesome God. Can be tough.
And because he's an awesome God, can we just join Abby McDonald and say more of you this morning is all we need, is all we need, is more of you. So many times we try to do things our own way, but all we need is more of him. We want more of God till there be none of us. Can we say that? We want more of God till there be none of us, not less of us. Because you know sometimes when there's less of us left, there's a little piece of us that left. And that little leaven leaven the whole lump. <laughs> ah, that little that little piece of us that, that uh, is left will have some desires and some ways and some feelings and some emotions and some things that God don't want us to have. But can we say, God, let there be more of you. Until there is none of us. Give us more of you. Until there is none of us. More of you God. More of your word. More of your anointing. More of your power. More of your spirit. Uh, more, you realize I didn't say more of your blessing. Because when you get more of God. Then the blessing will come. Oh Lord. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all these things. Oh, everything, everything you ask, everything you desire, everything you need will be added unto you. Seek ye first. Somebody say, Lord, I want so, so much more. i
So much more of you. We just want to keep lifting up my sister. Amen. That's my biological, biological sister, Janine Smith. Amen. As she's in the hospital. Amen. We believe in God for a miracle for her and my unborn nephew, a little baby. Amen. She's been having some difficulties with her pregnancy, but we declare and decree the healing powers of Jesus Christ be activated all over her body right now. Her body will be conducive to receive healing from the Holy Spirit right now from ministering angels. We plead the blood right now over her and declare that she will be made whole. She'll be healed from every infirmity in the name of Jesus. I want to say blessed good morning to each and every one of our partnering stations. Always supporting and partnering with us. Want to say good morning to Hope for Life Radio, Action Radio, Kingdom Link, Pastor Clark, the Night Machine, and the crew. 101.7 FM in the Kennesaw. Prosperity FM. Want to say blessed good morning to Brother Devon Ministry, Big Brother Devon, in the Boogie Down Bronx. Wagwan, Brother D. DJ Roberts Ministry. That's DJ Robert Samuels in the Cayman Island. And Lady Samuels, pray that your mom is doing well. PWE Ministry, Prison Worship Evangelistic Ministry with uh, Brother Stephen and Sister Price and the crew. Want to say bless say good morning to Big Brother DJ Penny. Checking him out last night. Shabak Radio. That man is gifted. Multiplicited gifted. Good God Almighty. True Gospel Radio. Want to say bless say good morning to you. 98.1 of them in the Bucket on Bronx. 92.1 of them in Brooklyn. Want to say good morning to you. Love 316 in the UK. Good afternoon, UK. Good morning, Cayman. Somebody said Jehovah Shammah. Good God Almighty, pull it from the top. Minister Yvonne Johnson. Want to say best said good morning. My uncle, Deaky Fireball. Henry West Palm Beach. Big up yourself. You don't know. Maximum respect and common decency. Dicky Henry enjoying the warm, warm weather of Florida. Go on, boy, warm, warm weather. Come here, you said cool down there too in Florida. Cooler than normal. We're in an Arctic type of weather. But we know that there is power on the inside. Because of the Holy Ghost, greater is he that's inside of us and he that's in the world. Hey, I got a word. The Lord gave me a word the other day. Greater is inside of me. I'm going to work on it. I ain't going to give you all it yet. But greater is inside of me. See, you got to understand that the greatness of the power of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that's within you. It's greater than anything else that's outside of you. The enemy is not afraid of you on the outside. He's not afraid of your title, of your status, or anything like that. What the enemy is afraid of is that you will come to the realization of who you are, whose you are, what's inside of you, and not only that, but begin to act upon what you know you are called for. You can sit down and say, I'm gifted, I'm anointed, I'm filled with power i got the holy spirit all day long till your face turn blue but if you don't get up and do nothing with it the enemy just gonna look at you and smile and be like ah whatever but when you know who you are auntie d right auntie d let's say good morning auntie d when you know who you are you know whose you are you know who stands beside you and supports you and you now know your gifting and your calling whether it's to sing minister the word of god to preach to evangelize to prophesy to, to just be a usher a, 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 a parking lot attendant when you know you're gifting and you get up and you begin to operate and act in your gifting then you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness and that's when the enemy now becomes oh good god almighty so you ever wonder why you're perplexed why you're troubled on all side on every end why the enemy is always trying to afflict you why the enemy is always trying to stop you why the enemy is trying to block you why the enemy is trying to shock you why the enemy is trying oh good god almighty trying everything to discourage you to oppress and depress you you ever wonder why you have sleepless nights and long lasting daisy in prophetess nadia you ever wonder why trouble don't always seem like you just always find your address 
That's because the enemy is trying at every will, every cause, every way, every possible opportunity. The enemy is trying to stop you. The enemy is trying to block you. He's trying to discourage and destroy you because he does not want you to operate into your gifting and your calling. He wants you to just sit down and become a normal, normal, common Christian. But the fact when you get up and say the devil is a liar and you begin to minister the word good god almighty that's when the enemy comes at you And I just don't want to be, I don't want to be no ordinary servant. Somebody, Jehovah. Somebody say, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh. Uncle Deke, Fireball Henry. The reason why the enemy is after us so much. We on here. We declaring and decreeing the gospel of salvation. We praying and preaching salvation to people. We praying for people. We not even laying hands on them and they getting delivered over the phone. That's why the enemy is mad. But you just need to turn around, look at the enemy and say, Abe. <laughs> Somebody say, I want you, I want you, I want you, oh, I want you. I like that, Auntie D. But the sun, S-U-N, and the sun, S-O-N, yet shines. Amen. Good God Almighty. If the wind chill is minus, negative, minus, my God, you're not supposed to have a dash in between before those kind of numbers. The wind chill is minus 11 in Detroit. The temperature is 2 degrees in the Bronx. When I was driving in, the temperature said it was 16 degrees here in Georgia. Good God Almighty. I wonder where's my Bajan and my Jamaican crew? What's the weather there? Where my Cayman Island folk at? Y'all can't be hiding us now. Y'all need to bring some sunshine in the chat room. We're anti P. We need to reach out to them island folks. Hey, Prophetess Nadia, what's the weather like in the UK? In this afternoon, beautiful afternoon in the UK, what's the weather like?
glory carrier. Prophet Nadia said, I don't know what's the temperature over here in the UK. She said, but all I know is I'm freezing. Good God Almighty, we're experiencing an Arctic type of weather everywhere. But as Auntie D says, the S-U-N still shines in the sky. And the S-O-N, Son of God, Jesus Christ himself and the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, still shines out of us. Our light will so shine. Where's it? Where's it, Sister Pam? You got the sun shining, sipping on something nice and refreshing. Good God Almighty. I want to say a blessed good morning to everyone in the chat room. Everyone in the chat room, I want to say good morning to you. Those that are listening on the mobile, the mobile, I want to say good morning to you. I want to say bless and good morning to my spiritual parents. Lord, I can't be Apostle Bishop Dr. Devin A. Swaby. Providence. Uh, Pastor Jacqueline D. Swaby. want to say maximum respect and common decency to the CEO visionary of this great radio station, ATL Pre's House. None other than President Brother Lou. Don't miss him later on with the radical praise. But right about now. Can I tell somebody? I just don't want to be a servant. I just don't want to be a regular, ordinary, ordinary servant. I want to be more, 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 more. Chat room, your portion is already prepared. Hammer the one, yeah. Hammer, hammer, sledgehammer. Can I tell somebody this Friday morning on Island Worship that I want to be more?
Somebody say. I don't know about you, but I want to be more than an ordinary servant. So I'm going to take this one from the top one more time. Somebody say, I'm a sledgehammer. I want to say, let's say good morning to Miss Lynn. Hi, Miss Lynn. The name of the song is More Than an Ordinary Servant. And it's by Minister Yvonne Johnson. Minister Yvonne Johnson sings more than an ordinary servant. I just don't want to be regular. I just don't want to be a conqueror. But the word of God said, I am, we are more than conquerors. So I declare and decree that we are more than ordinary servants. Bless you. It's not my will, Lord, but I'm the done. It's not me, Lord, but you're the only one. Lord, you know my heart and my way. Yes, still the power. I don't know, are you are you loving the song like I'm loving the song? If you're loving the song like I'm loving the song, I'll pull it up for you one more time. But you gotta say pull up. Pull it up, pull it up. Is, is that my dapper friend? What's up, dapper D? Dapper D, dapper D. What's up, dapper? 
I want to say big up to my dapper friend. Sister Dana, you don't know. You're my original dapper for life. Up to you, sister Dana. You don't know, I go. I saw the thing set. You see our response? She said, What up? And that's my dapper friend right there. You want to hear her worship and get into the anointing. Good God Almighty. Somebody say, Bless her, Lord. Want to say shout out to you once again, Miss Lynn. Good to have you with us. Let me take a look at my globe and send some shout outs. Shout out to Detroit, Michigan. The temperature, the wind chill is negative 11. What a say good morning to the boogie down Bronx. Temperature is 2 degrees. I bet the wind chill factor is probably like feeling like about negative five. That's it, Sister Dana. We don't want to just be conquerors. We want to be more than conquerors. We also want to be servants. We want to be more than an ordinary servant. So because we don't want to be ordinary, I got an encouraging word for you. Don't go nowhere. The word is coming up soon. I got an encouraging word. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. But while you're enjoying the program, why don't you text somebody, tweet somebody, inbox somebody, Facebook somebody, Twitter, MySpace, your space, our space, your phone, iPhone, my phone, their phone, everybody phone. <laughs> Send somebody a message and tell them, hey, come join me on this program over here on ATL Praise House. Let us enjoy this program together. Let us get a word together. 99 and a half won't do. Surrendering all is what I need to do, Jesus. Sister Erica oh, Want to say bless and good morning to Chicago, Illinois Chicago is locked in yeah. no, Want to say good morning to Lawrenceville, Georgia no, I see you on the globe no, That's it, Auntie D Psalm 51, 10 and 10. Say, so create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. My God, the people have said, I love the song, I love the song, I love the song. So somebody just say, Abba, Abba, Abba. Hey, Boku in, chat room, your portion is already prepared. My God, Abba, Abba, Sledgehammer. So we're going to pull it one more time from the top. Them say, give the people what they want. Oh, Jesus, I want to be more than an ordinary servant. 
One more time, the voice of Minister Yvonne Johnson, the song scholar. More than an ordinary servant. And an ordinary servant. Wanna be more. more. Anybody tired of just being ordinary? Be but watch this now. The way we become more than an ordinary servant, watch this. Catch this. Somebody ready to catch it? The way we become more than an ordinary servant, we in ourselves is we are ordinary. But when we put on God's extra to our ordinary, we then become extraordinary. Good God Almighty. You catch it? Did somebody catch that? We within ourselves, we are ordinary. But when we take God's extra and add it to our ordinary, then we become extraordinary for God. Good God. Somebody say, Please take it out of me. I want to be more. more, 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 more. God, I just got a phone call that just blessed me this morning. You just don't understand. That that phone call helped me to understand that I am not and I can't be, nor can I become, nor will I ever become an ordinary servant. See, a lot of times you don't even know how many uh, uh, people you're blessing by what you are doing when, 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 you're, when you begin to operate in your gift and your calling and you know, you allow the Holy Spirit to use you and minister to you 
through you to the people of God that's listening and tuned in. And and not only that, but when you become when you when you become real and transparent to people, you know, people nowadays they don't want the fake the fake preachers. Too much too much fake preachers out there that act like they don't deal with and go through anything in life and all it is all 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 all, all they're about is everybody now want title and want to become apostle this and bishop this and prophet this and prophetess this and trying to get the people's money and and it, it ain't about that you know it's about serving the people it's about being who god has called you to be and be open and transparent to people amen somebody if you're hurt let the people know hey i'm hurting because hey it is real jesus the bible said jesus wept i i've been doing this 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 um uh reading plan um the prayers of jesus and and over and over and over again it, it in one in in just one verse can you imagine in one verse Jesus asked the father must it about about three times listen if 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 you can just let if it's possible you know let this cup pass i can't i can't the 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 the, the burden the thought of 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 what's about to happen to me for the world for the for 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 your children for your chosen ones the the thought of what i'm going to have to endure and go through right now while he was while he he he, he, he took himself away uh by himself to seek the father and when the thought of 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 what's about to take place uh, came upon him the burden of the world came upon him he said if it be possible let this cup pass but he said nevertheless nonetheless not my will but let thy will be done so even if jesus can become concerned if jesus can cry and weep and wept as the bible said jesus wept if jesus can cry out feeling like the father has forsaken him when he was on the cross and he cried out eli eli lama sabbatini which means my god my god why hast thou forsaken me then then we as people as individuals of chil as children of god we get to places and points in our life to where we cry out and say god i can't feel you i can't sense you it, it doesn't seem like you're near we get to places where we don't even feel like if truth be told oh good god almighty i'm gonna get myself in trouble now if truth be told many of us as ministers pastors bishops and preachers and all of that we 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 we, we if you look at the statistics we don't read our bible we don't pray as often as we ought to pray we we do it when we are getting ready to put a message together but we we become so caught up with the things of this world and the things of this life that we don't spend enough time in the presence of the lord ah glory be to god but when you become real and transparent to people and let people know listen even though i'm a minister i i go through issues i deal with things because we are the ones that carry the mantle we are the ones that the jezebel spirits and the and the, and 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 the and the, and the, and the, the spiritual abortions and all kind of oppression and depression comes against we are the one that get the most attacked especially if you are a worship leader good god almighty dapper friend dana when you are a worship leader you go on the you come up underneath the most attack why because there's something about worship that ushers in the presence of god something about worship that takes a preacher a prophet into the prophetic realm and open up the portals of the prophetic and the glory comes down through undiluted unrestrained worship that's why worshipers go on this come under so much attack so oh, good god almighty but when we can just become real and transparent and speak to the people from a point of transparency and reality amen somebody we're not discrediting the fact that listen the word of god is the word of god and that's what we believe in but there are sometimes when you're going through some things you just want someone to be real with you and talk to you man to man woman to woman and just be real amen somebody i just feel like saying that because somebody just blessed me and i just you know want to bless somebody and say listen we we want to be more than ordinary servant according to minister yvonne johnson and 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 you know what i'm gonna go down to barbados because you know my my, my beja oh sister sharon you're here hi sister sharon I was just about to say my Bajan folk ain't here with me, so I, I, I'm going to have to pull for my Bajan brother, but I turn around and see Sister Sharon in the chat room, so hey, Sister Sharon, but listen, we, we, am I speaking the truth? Come on, somebody, can somebody help me this morning? Can, can, can somebody just back a brother up and help a brother up? Am I speaking the truth here? 
let the church say amen. Can I get an amen in the congregation, in the audience, in the chat room? Can I get an amen on the, on the, on the WhatsApp, on my text? Can I get an amen? We, we've got to, people don't want fakeness no more. We've been, we, we, as, as ministers, a lot of us have been hiding behind this anointing and act like we are bigger and better than the world. We are, but listen, you got to let the people know, hey, I'm human also. Ah, uh, somebody better help me. Yeah, Father. Can't live my life without you, Jesus. The reason I breathe and move and I have my being is so good, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wanna send shout out to Sister Terry Ann from Barbados visiting the sister in the hospital right now. Wanna pray God's healing upon that sister. Wanna say bless you, good morning, Barbados, Sister Sharon. Good God Almighty, I'm counting down. I'm counting down, Sister Sharon. I'm so excited, y'all. Bridge down, St. Michael's Barbados. I'm coming to you soon. Somebody spread the word in Barbados. The loudmouth crazy evangelist is on his way. If y'all can afford the, 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 the ticket, y'all better join me in Barbados. End of July into August. Crusade time. Say I can't live my life without you, Lord. You are the reason why I sing you are my everything. My God, pull up. Yo, pull up. Let it go. Let it go. Can't live my life without you, Jesus. The reason I breathe. I'm Somebody and say, can't live my life so without good, you. Thank you, Jesus. I can't live my life without you. You are the reason why I'm in my everything now. The reason why I sing yeah. I can't live my life without you. Oh no. You are the reason why I sing you are my everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Lord. Hell be thy name. Hello, be thy name. Thy will be done on earth again. To you be glory forevermore. Oh, glory. forevermore. Hallelujah. Oh, Let's say good morning to Toronto, Ontario, Canada, oh Canada, good God Almighty, the Niagara Falls is frozen, <laughs> I want y'all to join me all, join me in, help me take the gospel to the nations of this world. I want to take the gospel to the nations. Will y'all help me take the gospel to the nations? Somebody just say, I'm with you, Vanjie. Somebody, 
So when you can't make it physically, just be with me prayerfully. And if you can, when you're with me prayerfully, you can also support financially. So we can take this gospel to the nation. Somebody say. Sister Pam got her briefcase packed and ready. Good God Almighty. What's up, cuz Yvonne in Canada? Hey, cuz, what's the weather like? What's the temperature like in Canada right now? Hey, Sister Sharon, what's the temperature like in Barbados? Cuz all I've been seeing is some 2 degrees and some negative 11 degrees and some 16 degrees. Good God Almighty. What? No, sir. You are the reason. Negative 34 with the wind chill. Sister Sharon, everybody envying you right now. <laughs> we don't really, we don't really, we, we, we envy you right now, Sister Sharon. We, we, we kind of envy you right now. It's hot, hot, hot. I have my being. So hey, Sister Yvonne, what's the weather like in, in November? I Just kind of tell me so I can start gearing up my mind. What, what's the weather like when it comes on to November? Sister Sharon is saying beach is on soon. But cool, you know. Sister Yvonne, you see how Sister Sharon acting? I know, right, Sister Pam? Hey, Sister Pam, if you can't get the sun to you, then go to the sun. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to Barbados in July. I'm going to be in Barbados. We say, Sister Sean, you ready? You got, my, you got my pigtail ready? Don't go anywhere, it's 11.15 a.m. right here on www.atlpraisehouse.com You're tuned into the Morning Glory program, it's an Island Worship Friday You're riding with your buddy, your friend, your brother, your nephew, husband, right, uh, Sister Paula you are the reason this is the one and only evangelist Wayne Smith. Yeah. Good morning, Lord. Hello, be done. Thy will be done. Under Everybody balling for, for sunshine. <laughs> There's an Arctic air Hallelujah. passing through. Prophetess Nadia in, in UK says. She don't even know what the temperature is like, but all she knows she's freezing over there in the afternoon in Ke- in the UK. In Cousin Yvonne in Canada say it's you are the wind chill make it negative thirty four in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I Lord Jesus, what's the weather like when it comes on to November, uh, uh, Cousin Yvonne? You are the let me let me gear up my mind. Everything. Sister Erica say it's two degrees in the boogie down Bronx. I bet the wind will make you feel like about negative Thank something something. It is 16 degrees here in in Georgia. Oh, when I was driving coming in, I'm like, Lord, the wind will make you feel like about five degrees. But guess what? As Auntie D say. The S-O-N is still shining. No, well on. Get it right, Evangelist Wien. The S-U-N is still shining on the outside, in the natural. But the S-O-N, Jesus Christ, is shining on the inside. We got a Holy Ghost bubbling up on the inside. All right, she said it's cold, but not that bad in November. All right, good. That me want here. 
Hey, Sister Pam, you ready for you ready for uh, uh, Toronto? You ready for Canada? Auntie D, you ready for Canada? Sister Erica, you getting ready for Canada? Hey, Sister Erica, Sister Sharon, you can book a ticket, you know. Hey, Sister Sharon, you can travel, you know. And just come join us, you know. What you say about that, sis? Come, let us make it a glorious catarampus time. I, I mean, a glorious time. <laughs> in Canada in November. Sister Sharon said, no, me not deal with that, the call there. Sister Sharon said, no, it's too cold. Prophetess Nadia said, it's the seasons. We said it's the seasons in, in the UK, that's why it's called. There's my sidekick. Hi, my sidekick. Hi, brain. Hey, TK. Somebody say I can't live without you And you know because I can't live without you Can I tell somebody if you feel like giving up right now Now is not the time to give up, up What was it TK? Giving up is not an option You are not authorized to give up You are not authorized to quit You are not authorized to throw in the towel Your blessing is on the way Your greater is on the way Matter of fact your season is here now Worship God today. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Come on. I'm going a little higher. Somebody say I'm going a little higher. I'm pushing much, I'm pushing much harder. I want to see the Father. We want to see the Father. Giving up is not an option. Not an option. Good God. Chat room. Your portion is already my God. Blessing over to Covington, Georgia, TK. Oh, no. This is what we call island worship. Me down, I surrender. Coming up tonight at 8 p.m. To you, 
It's gonna be the radical pit bull brother Lou. I believe he'll be back in the studio. Last week he gave way for DJ Penny with his revival. But don't forget to join brother Lou later on at 8. Later will be greater with the radical praise. But in the meantime and between time, in this cold time, we want to tell somebody giving up is not an option. Sister Pam got the tambourine going. Not an option, not an option. Yeah. Hi, me in your arms, old oh, Jesus, draw me closer. Somebody Trotting on this road I mean I trot alone No, no Cause Lord you're with me Lord you're with me You're with me almighty job Yeah I can live without you Lord I'll never doubt you Cause I wanna go My God, somebody say, I want to see your face. Uh, nothing just happened. My God, it's uh, Island Worship Friday right here on www.atlpraisehouse.com. That's the voice of the one. Minister Hosea Hines out of Barbados, my Bajan brother from another mother. We're going to go back to the island of Jamaica and bring in the one Mr. German Edwards with the Island Worship. Right after that, we're going to pump up the beat a little bit because we're getting the word. We're getting the word. But before we do that, it's Island Worship Friday and this is how we do it. Somebody say revival time, revival time. She prayed for me 
Can you help me praise him in Detroit? In the Boogie Down Bronx, can you help me praise him? In the UK in this afternoon, can you help me praise him? Cayman Islands, Barbados, can you help me praise him? Toronto, Ontario, Canada, can you help me praise him? Hey, Atlanta, USA, Georgia, can you help me praise him? As we turn it up a little bit higher, we're gonna move up a little bit higher. We're gonna move up a little bit higher. Somebody say it's time for some praise and worship. the wonder working power of the blood of Jesus to Sister Serlene Ben Sister Serlene Ben all the way in Barbados who is right now in the hospital doctors say her liver and her kidneys are gone but we declare and decree that the blood of Jesus be upon her now healing will reach her now 
we declare a renewed body, renewed organs now in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, won't you trust in me? He rolled back the water of the mighty Red Sea. He said, I'll leave you. Won't you trust in me? We be in prayer for Sister Surly and Ben all the way in Barbados right now. Doctors are saying her liver, kidney, and organs are failing, but we declare and decree the blood of Jesus that heals. There's a bomb in Gilead that's yet healing for her soul. So we send forth the blood right now. We declare and decree that pain be gone. We prophesy to her pancreas that her pancreas will secrete the right amount of insulin that will make her body conducive for healing. We declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ right now. A woman healed, be healed. Ah, in the name of Jesus. We declare the blood. Somebody send more blood to Barbados. Somebody send the blood. We declare the uh, good God Almighty. Our God is a good God. Send some blood to, to Barbados for me now. Say, Lord, you're good, you're so good. Don't you know that God is a good God? Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God. Yes, he is. Each morning that I wake, I thank God for another day. Everything I am, I hope to be only for mercy and grace. I remember when I couldn't see my way, all I saw was gloomy days. My God, you came through right on time. No, I can do We declare Malachi 4 and verse 2. Good the Lord God will arise yes. with healing in his wings. That's it, Sister Erica. Oh. We have the Bajan flag. We send prayer and the blood and healing to Barbados right now for Sister Surly and Ben. God is a good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He's. My favorite part is coming up right now, and we declare this for Sister Serlin. We declare and decree all the way in Barbados. He's gonna pick her up, turn her around. Turn her situation around. Turn her from being sick to be healed. Miracle working done. Miracle working done. Good God. Hammer, hammer, sledgehammer. 
Saint Edward and Randall positive. Hey, hey. Saint Lord, you're good, you're so good. Don't you know that God, God is a good God? God. Yes, He is. God, God is a good God. God. Yes, He is. God is a good, good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He is. Each morning that I wake. I thank God for another day Everything I am I hope to be Only for mercy and grace I remember when I couldn't see my way All I saw was gloomy days My God you came through right on time No, I can do it say Don't you know that God is a good God Yes he is yes. God is a good God Yes he is oh, yes. God is a good God Yes he is Reminiscing about when my back was against the wall Bills were due, my child was sick Because the phone no one to call Then I die on the name of Jesus And a peace came in my soul What was broken now is fixed Cause the old guy's on the throne I came to tell you God is a good God Yes, he is God is a good God Yes, he is God is a good God Somebody said On higher ground Miracle working God Miracle working God Good God Almighty Y'all gonna put me in trouble But I gotta pull this one from the top Hey, I got a word coming up for you right now. Somebody said there's a word. Just a word of encouragement for you. Almighty, somebody say he's a miracle. 
Miracle, miracle working God. It's 11.42 a.m. right here on www.atlpraisehouse.com. It's uh, 4.42 a a p.m. in the U.K. Amen, somebody. I want to say thank you all for tuning in to the Morning Glory program. It's Island Worship Friday. But as we move uh, along, we got a word. There's a word for you. Somebody say, I can feel your glory in this place. Sweet Holy Spirit, take me away. Take me, take me, take me, take me, take me, take me away. Amen, somebody. I got a word for you this morning. I just want you to sit back, relax, and get ready for your word. Sister Dana, this is for you. You know, the Lord is speaking to you. He's ministering to you. He's been uh, dealing with you. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 24, verse 3, and Isaiah 40, verse 31, I'm going to read both for them. The first one in the New King James Version, the second one in the Amplified Version. It says, who shall ascend? Uh, I want you to say, ascend. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and say, ascend. Who shall ascend, according to Psalm 24 and verse 3? Who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place somebody say stand somebody say who shall ascend say the word ascend with me and then who shall stand somebody say stand with me glory be to God the book of Isaiah 40 verse 31 declares in the amplified version but those who wait for the Lord you know I love that scripture who expect look for watch this the amplified said but those who wait for the Lord who expect, look for, and hope in him shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up. The word mount up, going up. In other words, they shall and ascend close to God as eagles mount up to the sun they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint or become tired i want somebody say ascend i want somebody say ascend if i may for a few brief moments just share a word of encouragement with you uh, if i were to choose a topic to just share and encourage you today i want you to turn to somebody in the chat room and prophesy to them and tell them it's time to ascend in other words it's time for you sister erica to ascend it's time for you, Sister Dana, to ascend. It's time for you, Auntie D, to ascend. It's time for you, Sister Pam, to ascend. Glory carrier, Providence Nadia. It's time for you to ascend, Sister Sharon. It's time for you to ascend, Sister Paula. It's time to ascend. Uh, let me help you this morning. The word ascend, uh, the meaning of the word ascend, it simply means to go or move upward. It means to rise. It means to slope upwards in other words you are going down in one direction but when you change the course of direction and the lord shift some things around and turn some things around for you in your life uh, your direction begin to change and you're no longer looking down uh, you're no longer holding your head down like a pig and looking down in the ground all the time can't lift your head up uh, but the bible said lift up your heads oh he gates uh, and be he lifted up uh, uh, he everlasting door uh, uh, for the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads oh he gates and be he lifted up he everlasting door in other words it's no longer time for you to be looking down it's no longer time for you to be falling down and failing but it's time for you to ascend it's time for you to go or to move upward it's time in other words for you to rise from your state your state of poverty your state of lack your state of sickness and infirmity it's time for you to ascend it means to rise from a lower level or station or in other words it means to advance they ascended from poverty to great wealth ascend to the throne in other words God never intended for you or I or us to settle he never intended for us to settle for less 
or to stay in your problem. In other words, God did not uh, allow you or cause you to stay in a temporary situation when he have a permanent blessing for you. Let me help you understand that. Even though you might be going through something right now, even though you might be experiencing some setbacks and some disappointments right now, even though you may be experiencing some sickness and failures right now, God never intended for you to settle and stay for that because he has greater somebody better say greater is in store for me in other words he said in Ephesians 3 and 20 now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you so when you have faith faith the size of a mustard seed you can say to this mountain open your mouth and make a declaration and speak to the mountain and say be thou removed mountain of cancer be thou removed mountain of liver problem be thou removed mountain of kidney problem be thou removed mountain of sugar diabetes be thou removed mountain of lack and poverty move 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 somebody better say move and get out of my way glory be to God God did not intend for you to settle for less or to stay in your problem you were created in other words like the eagle the eagle was created not to stay down on the ground oh my god help me here now jesus you are not created to be a chicken you were created to be an eagle so it's time for you to stop pecking around on the ground with chickens and it's time for you to ascend ah no shikarabasa in other words it's time for you to mount up it's time for you to soar ah let me help you understand something now you may say how may i soar how can i soar if you want to take the concept of the eagle the eagle does not soar when the wind is normal and calm the eagle waits for a gust of wind and storm and then he spreads his wing and allows the storm to take him higher glory be to God I hear the Lord said to tell somebody this morning you may be experiencing a storm in your life a storm in your marriage a storm in your finance a storm in your ministry a storm in your health a storm in your children but the Lord said to tell you right now the storm is getting ready to propel you to another level the storm is getting ready to shift you to cause you to ascend into the hills of the Lord oh, good God Almighty somebody better say it's my time to ascend you were created to soar higher if this were not so then why would God himself liken us to the most majestic of birds the eagle he says in Isaiah 40 and 31 those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength there's some of you your strength is being renewed right now Miss Lynn there's some of you oh hallelujah your power is being renewed right now and there shall be victory after this you're gonna be more anointed after this oh glory be to God the devil gonna be afraid of you after this for after you've been tested and tried and proved oh glory worthy to be called a son are here and joined here then everything that God has in store for you will be released unto you so God compared us to the majestic bird called the eagle he said if we wait on the Lord we are gonna renew our strength we're gonna mount up with wings as eagle children of God we are destined for new heights oh glory be to God can I talk to somebody this morning somebody said talk to me brother ah that trial that test that tribulation that isn't an obstacle let me tell you right now and say it one more time that trial that you're going through that test that you may be facing that tribulation that you may be enduring it isn't an obstacle then what is it what is it evangelist it's an opportunity for God to show in you who he is if you never had a problem then you wouldn't know that God can solve them if you never have a sickness you would not be able to declare he Jehovah Rapha he 
is my healer. His blood heals. I, I would not be able to declare Isaiah 53 and verse 5 that wounded for my transgression, bruised for my iniquity by his stripes. I am healed. I would not be able to declare Malachi 4 and 2 that he's going to arise with healing in his wings. If I did not have a sickness, I could not make that decoration. So your problem is not a problem. It's just an opportunity for God to show you that I'm bigger than your problem. I'm bigger than your sickness. I'm bigger than your... Oh, good God Almighty. I'm bigger than oppression. Bigger than depression. Oh, my God. The reason, that's the reason, that's the reason, that's the reason now why the enemy keeps reminding you of your past. God so he can block you from your future he's reminding you of who you were so you can lose focus of who you are but i came to tell you this morning the devil is a liar all day every day and twice on sunday the devil is a liar and he's the father of lies he wants you to think that you are no good when god says that you are a royal priesthood a peculiar people a chosen generation and a holy nation the enemy wants you to think that you are weak and there's nothing good inside of you but god says to tell you this morning greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world the lord want me to tell you that you're not just a conqueror but you are more than a conqueror the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but they are mighty in god for the pulling down of strongholds somebody just reach up and say I pull down every stronghold I pull down stronghold of poverty I pull down stronghold of lack I pull down stronghold of sin I pull down stronghold of loss I pull down stronghold of uh, infirmity and because I'm pulling down stronghold it's time for me now to ascend oh glory be to God it's time for you to ascend the devil has attacked you on all sides the devil has attacked you in your mind he's attacked you in your health in your finances but I want you to look at your neighbor in the chat room and look at yourself at home and say devil you can't have me the reason why you can't have me devil is because I belong to God and I was bought with a price Jesus ah, mama said has bought me with the price of his precious blood so you can't stop me devil the wait is over God said after you have suffered for a while the God of all grace will establish you make you perfect and strengthen you it's time for you to ascend it's time for the Lord to dispatch some strength to you it's time to pluck you up that which was planted it's time for those seeds that you have sown to come back to you in the form of a harvest just like Isaac when he was in Gerar and he sowed in the land that there was famine according to Genesis 26 it's time for your seed that you have sown to come back to you as an harvest the wait is over the wait is over and it's time for you to ascend you have been waiting on the Lord for a long time it's time to mount up with wings as eagle. It's time to fly over your problem. It's time to fly over your enemy. It's time to soar. It's time to be elevated. It's time to fly into your purpose. Fly into your destiny. Fly, fly, fly. Somebody wave and say goodbye. I'm about to fly because your struggle is over. It's over. It's over. The Lord said, you're about to ascend into a dimension of blessing. According to Psalm 24 and 5, he shall receive blessing. The blessing of the Lord make it one rich and add it no sorrow. Good God Almighty, it's time number two to, the, uh, to ascend into the dimension of righteousness, uh, which means right standing with God. In that same chapter 24 and verse 5 of Psalm, it said, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Number three, it's time to, uh, to ascend into the dimension.
dimension of renewed strength and power according to Isaiah 40 and 31 renew their strength and power and number four it's time to ascend into the dimension of acceleration they shall run and they shall run and not be weary in other words God said to tell somebody in the chat room he's about to accelerate your breakthrough the Lord said I'm about to speed up your breakthrough your miracle is not gonna take ten years five years but if you believe by faith you can get your miracle right now somebody shout it's my time it's my time to ascend it's my time for my breakthrough it's my time for my miracle it's my time for the open doors it's my time to experience the blessings of God that makes one rich it's my time to experience my press down shaken together and my running over it's my time to ascend I've been sitting at the table for a long time but it's time for me to get up and go claim and get my inheritance you've been oh God almighty help me the table has been set before you he said I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy while the table is prepared you don't know what kind of meal has been served on the table it could be meals of trial meals of tribulation meals of sorrow meals of infirmity meals of lack you better eat it you better not have indigestion you better don't have diarrhea you better don't throw it up because after after you've eaten at the table in the presence of your enemy and when your enemy think it's over oh God can I prophesy a word to somebody and tell you your anointing is on the other side of the table your anointing is on the other side of the table I've been sitting and eating before my enemies for a long time but it's time for me to go on the other side because after you prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy the next statement says he anoints your head with oil my anointing is on the other side of the table and I'm gonna ascend for my anointing and after I'm anointed he now says surely goodness and mercy when I walk down the road surely goodness and mercy when I drive in my car surely goodness and mercy they're giving me problem on the job but surely goodness and mercy the bank won't approve me but surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell I shall ascend into the hills of the Lord for it's my time to ascend into my purpose oh my God my God my God my God it's time for you to ascend your moment is here your moment is here ha shake hell almost stand out of behind your time has come Nothing happens by chance. for you to ascend in God's hands. It's only by God. Somebody open your mouth and say, It's my time. Come on. It's my time to ascend. So the Lord asks a question. Who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Will that be you today? Will that be me today? 
I'm ready to ascend. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of mediocrity or mediocracy. I'm tired of just being ordinary. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I'm tired of missing my purpose and my Kairos moment. It's my time. It's your time. It's our time. It's time for us to ascend into our promise and our purpose and our destiny. Destiny is calling. The Bible said the earth grown it with great expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. Sons and daughters of God, it's time for us to arise and ascend. Ah. Ah, oh, Jesus. So I declare and decree the extraordinary supernatural wonder working miraculous power of God be released upon you even right now as you receive this word today. As you declare this word over you today and say it's my time to ascend. It's my time to mount up, to move up, to soar. It's my time to accelerate. Just prophesy to somebody in the chat room for me right now. Put it out there on Facebook, on Twitter, on WhatsApp. And just speak to them. Call them by their name. And say it's your time to ascend. Let me ask you. to God. Hallelujah. You're live. Go ahead. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank ah, you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, yes. Lord. Thank you. Yes, Thank God. you, Holy yes, Ghost. God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We yes, thank God. you. We glorify you. 
yes, that we will lift you up robo shatarabasa tarab and you to the lord because you are lord and there is none like you oh daddy we worship you today hey in the name of jesus we can the thanks god that you wake us up this morning our right mind now we may not have all that we desire we may not have all that we we, we think we should have today <laughs> but i hear the word of the lord saying the breath of the blood into us the breath of life and we became a living soul <laughs> so because of that today if it's just even lord just the breath of life in us today we just want to lift up hands now and tell us thanks we pray in the name of jesus we can thank to your man servant we can thanks for bringing him a time like this what a word lord we are to ascend today ah mighty god of daniel somebody was down to the lord ah can you send a word to somebody god that in spite of the back may be against the wall but you declare to the fireman servant god that we need to arise we need to get to the next level rababa shatora musa Thanks, God, for the man servant evangelist Wayne Smith. We pray, God, as we have pulled out to the Lord. Pull back into him your blessing. Pull back into him your anointing, Lord. Give him an array of words. I pray that the Holy Ghost will continue to speak through him as he makes himself available, as he sings the song. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true. We thank you. Giving. Oh God, I promise to be a living sanctuary. Lord, I pray to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Consecrate him. Continue to consecrate him now, Lord, to your service. By your power of grace divine, open doors to me daddy. Bless Sister Paula. Bless your children. Bless the ministry that you have called him into. I pray now, God, as you seek, Lord, to do your will. Open doors. We tell the tongues to open doors in Barbados. In Jamaica, in Canada, in St. Kitts, the Rababa Shatu Rabo Shatu Rabba. Love the COVID now in the name of Jesus. This year, God, I feel you hear this. Ah, God Almighty. I pray in the name of Jesus. Ah, God, our time now, Daddy. Get and back up in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. We speak, we speak, we speak. Open doors, Lord. That was just closed in 2014. That was just closed in 2013. Oh, hallelujah. Oh God, we Lord, we tell the tongues are opening them right yes. now in 2015. Yes, we're we're going to step by feet. Somebody say, my feet, look up to thee. Go to the man, Calvary. See the divine. Yes, God, we pray. Lord, we pray for somebody in Barbados, Lord. Who is sick with curse that yes, sickness yes, now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're going to tour together. Yes. We're going to in the chat room. Yes. Oh, Yes, God. We glory to Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, God. Ah, oh, my, 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 God, yes. In Jesus' name. Bless and touch your man servant, God. Cover him as he goes, God. Ah, Lord, every prayer, everything that he has pulled out, God, even to your servant. Oh, God, to your people, God. Return unto him a hundredfold your blessing. Let your angels, that's a sign, God. Uh, your ministering angels now minister to him, God. Oh, God, your angels that are, that are assigned with the release of his gift and purpose and blessing and inheritance and prosperity. Lord God, we pray for them to be activated, God, and they to come to him now. Him and his family, God, come him from yes, the crown yes, of his head yes. to the sole of his in feet of because even as he's always been an encouragement and inspiration hey. to others god mm. i pray god mm. there are many times god when he will be oh god by himself yes. and just need yes. an inspiration yes. god I'm the rest in the but i pray your Hallelujah. angels will continue to inspire hey. him you say you never yes. leave him comfortless but you no, give him hey. the comfort of the holy ghost Hallelujah. so my son die even when he's down Thank lord you, pick him up ah. when he's weak yes. help him to understand 
understand that he's yeah. strong because the joy of the Lord is his strength. Oh. Ah, oh, so we thank you now for Jesus. your glory. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. Mm. Sweet Holy Spirit, have your way and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, Uncle. Always amen. can depend on you, my man of God, bless to you, restore Lord. virtue in my spirit. Thank you. Love you, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, uh, God bless. It's time for you to ascend. <laughs> Glory yeah. to God. I'm going by brother. I'm going by brother. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. All oh, right. bless the name of Jesus. Yeah, we'll talk Thank later. You. Blessing. Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. That's my uncle Fireball, D.K. Henry. West Palm Beach. Y'all don't play with me. I got Bucketive. Good God Almighty. It's time for us to ascend. It's time for me to ascend out of the studio. <laughs> Love your family. Remember, empower to win our next saturday every other saturday we should have had it last saturday but you don't know it was valentine's day so we didn't do it so next saturday don't miss it the second edition ah, second episode second release of empower to win our next saturday but in the meantime and between time don't forget to join uh dj robert samuels this afternoon from the cayman island as he passed the baton on to big brother lou at 8 p.m right here on atl praise house who will pick it right back up tomorrow morning for morning dew then hand it off to pwe then hand it off to brother devon then you don't know the thing set already we never sleep nor slumber. there's always something going on love your family it's your time to ascend be blessed cuz it's time for us to ascend past this cool weather and ascend into spring. Uh, I feel the atmosphere shifting. Our seasons are changing because we are ascending. God bless you. I love you all. I'll see you again. If you're tuning in for the first time, don't forget to join me again next Wednesday. Morning Glory. Praise and Worship Wednesday. Bye. I will trust you You're my hiding place You are my rock My defense I should not be moved You reign forever and ever None can compare to you
Yeah. Sometimes we people of God can go through some really tough times, huh? <laughs> yeah, you've been there too. <laughs> I've been there. But I'm here to tell you that nothing happens by chance. It's in God's hands. It's ordered by God.
going through some really tough times, huh? <laughs> yeah, you've been there too. <laughs> I've been there. But I'm here to tell you that nothing happens by chance. It's in God's hands. It's ordered by God. Come on. Nothing. Let me ask.